everyone. It's me, Catherine. Today is Sunday, the 23rd. Um, just want to say happy Sunday. Went to church today and um, wanted to share a Bible, Bible verse with everybody. Um, John 3.16 is my favorite, favorite, favorite Bible verse. And I'll read it to you. And uh, it's just such a nice, simple Bible verse. But I think everyone should at least memorize or at least be informed of or know about. It's, uh, it's, it's uh, John uh, chapter 3, verse 16. It says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. <sighs> Salvation is a free gift, and um, it's hard for a lot of people to understand. But I just wanted to share that with y'all today. It's on my heart. And I um, wanted you to know that anyone in this world can get saved and go to heaven just by simply asking Christ to come live in your heart and in your life. So that's my favorite Bible verse. But there's also other things that I want to talk to a lot of people about. Um, and that's to young women who have self-image problems. And I'm going to go into that later, but I want to leave some food for thought for all the young girls that are in high school, possibly even middle school, contemplating cosmetic surgery at the age of 15, 16, or 17. Um, I say no to that because when you were formed in your mother's womb. God knew every cell, every hair on your head. He had you all planned out and designed perfectly and beautifully in his image. So if you're contemplating cosmetic surgery, why, why would you want to change something God made already beautiful in his image? You're basically saying, okay, God, you didn't do a good enough job on me. Um, and I want you to think about that if you're contemplating, contemplating cosmetic surgery because um, I don't think you need it because you're beautiful in God's eyes and he made you perfect in his image and uh, it's kind of slapping God in the face and saying you didn't do a good enough job God so I'm going to have my nose redone or I'm going to have breast augmentation or I'm going to get a little bit of fat sucked out here. You're just, you're missing the point. So that's food for thought and uh, I hope you won't get cosmetic surgery, all you young girls. And I hope you'll learn to like yourself and love yourself the way God made you. You don't need to make changes to yourself. Not at all. I did and it took 10 corrective surgeries to give me back a nose. 10. I was 17. And uh, I'll share more with you later. But it changed my life. And uh, if I had to do it all over again, I would never, ever, ever have had surgery to make myself look prettier when I was already beautiful. I just couldn't see it. So I'll share more verses with you later on why you shouldn't change your body. Okay, take care for now.